Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to work with gradient meshes in Illustrator. Now, first thing I want to do is I have this little thing that I did, which was the, the stem. So I'm going to come to Object. I am going to group it, and I'm going to just move it to the side. I'll put that back in when I have it all assembled. So right now, I'm just going to focus in on my apple. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to get my eyedropper, and I'm going to sample the overall color. Great. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to start to put my gradient mesh on here. And wherever I click, I get these different points. Now I'm going to begin. I'm going to start with this highlight right here. So what I want to do is I want to come, I'm going to grab my lasso and I am going to come in. Oopsie. Okay, I'm going to grab my lasso and I'm going to come in and I'm going to circle some of these anchor points and select them so I can see that these ones are selected. They're closed. Whenever they're closed, they're selected. The white ones are not selected. I'm going to get my eyedropper and I'm going to sample. Hmm. And that highlight is way too much. So what I'm going to do is maybe dull it down a little bit. Perfect. Now, I can see too that it's gone up too high, right? So I can come in with my lasso and maybe say, hmm, you know what? This is too much. Okay, so I can make it even a little bit smaller. So again, I can come with my lasso. Okay. Now, well, we might even find, sometimes I find what I like to do is pick my colors right in from my color picker and then sometimes get a color that's very similar but a little bit lighter. So I would do the same thing down in here and I actually think I'd even add another set of these gradients. So cute for my last, okay, good. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to circle this right here. Okay, but I'm going to actually double click and go with the color that's a little bit lighter. Okay, and you know, there we have it. All right, so we could continue to move in and we may want to put more gradient meshes on. Oops, and I'm putting that light color in. But hey, it doesn't matter. It looks okay. All right, so we can come in and we could even, you know, move. Actually, what we could do is we could even come in. I could select, whoopsie, this whole thing. And try to move the whole thing, but that's actually not quite working. So, and I just moved the whole apple, which I don't want. Okay, so, but what we could do too is you could take one of your points and move things around the way that you want them to be. Okay, so now there's this highlight in here. I may even grab my mesh again, click onto there, come in move things around the way that I want them to be. All right, I can grab my lasso. Okay, we can start putting that green in. Now I'm gonna come again with my lasso. I'm going to go just a little bit darker. Okay, so I think this is beginning to make sense, hopefully, and you can see that the possibilities are endless. So we could continue to work and to work and to work. Let me get this darker. It's a little bit darker red over here.
All right, so I'll leave you with that. That's pretty much how the gradient mesh tool works. Let me just do a couple more. You can get a little more. So this whole bottom part is actually overall even a little bit lighter. All right, so sometimes things can be a little bit more subtle. I come in right in here. I can see there's actually a little bit of a highlight right in here, but I'm definitely going to go from this one and maybe even go a little bit so it's not so all right, so there we can see that change is it's not too much. I'm going to come back in try to get this highlight a little bit. All right, so we can begin to see what is happening here. And um, you know, we can continue working until we really get what it is that we want. So, you know, now also think about that, you know, often what you're going to do is actually going to be a combination of things. So you might find that now, you know, you'd go back to your layers and you may end up, you know, let's see, locking this layer, okay, and creating a new layer, and now coming in with your pen tool and drawing things again. So really we could say that it's definitely a, always a combination of things when we get our illustrations. Now, you may even come in and work with the transparency. Okay, now uh, to get all of this green that's here, you may find yourself Again, maybe coming in and working more with the transparency. Okay, but overall, we could say our illustrations definitely end up being a combination of factors. So, thanks for watching. Uh, always, once you get your shadows in underneath, it makes a big difference too. Now, you know, also if you come in and you worked with the pencil a little bit, uh, you know, maybe you would come in and start working with making marks, getting different colors in, and seeing what you come up with. Thanks for listening.